what advice can you give to a new grad or a young professional who is trying to find a mentor? I, I'm a believer that you don't just wait for stuff to happen. I, I, I mean, I recognize that you can't force it. A, a, a mentor-mentee relationship is not something that uh, can work for one party and not the other. So I could be all over this and say, you know what, I, I want you to be my mentor, but if in the, if in the end you have no interest in, uh, in helping me, then uh, it's not going to work. And, and vice versa, a lot of organizations try and force a mentor relationship with people that already exist within their organization for new people that are being onboarded. You, you can't force it. You can go look for it. You can be proactive in, in pursuing relationships that you think have enough uh, critical mass and enough momentum to, uh, to try and build them into a mentor-mentee relationship. So you can be proactive, but you certainly can't force it in my mind. Many students have felt disheartened by the recent economic downturn as more employers are a lot more cautious about who they hire. What I'm wondering is, in your opinion, what characteristics uh, or skills do you think are, attract are attractive to employers? I think earning respect is all about the attitude that you bring to uh, the table when you're, uh, when you're engaging with another human being. It's an element of, you know, is it about you, is it about them? Uh, what what can you really offer? What is it that you can uh, you can bring that's uh, that's that's helpful to them in a way that's not uh, cocky or, uh, or or you know too overbearing, but that that really is you know something that you're uh, an expert in. And a great example is you know when I uh, became the leader of uh, of a sub practice within Audit in Vancouver, I had a partner who was a phenomenal partner in the industry that, uh, that he worked in in that marketplace. And for me to go there and expect to uh, try and add a lot of value to what he was doing within that industry was, uh, what would have been arrogant and would not have uh, done anything to generate any element of respect. So we ended up turning our conversation to how you treat people, how you engage your team, how you motivate your staff all of which is really sort of uh, age agnostic if you want to look at it that way and something where you can have a conversation that does generate mutual respect and moving forward as a as a team as opposed to individuals well I, I understand the sort of the feeling of being disheartened I would say you know I, I would I would really hope people would uh, would start to get more encouraged I, I mean the future is is uh, is brighter than, uh, than the past couple of years, and I certainly see that from my perspective. Might not be sort of the heyday of five years ago, but you know, the, wor the world is, is, is looking better every day. So I think from a disheartened perspective, I hope that people are more encouraged today than maybe they were a year ago, 18 months ago. In terms of uh, you know, qualities, look, uh, it's simple for me. Um, you know, we can teach the debits and credits. So if, whether you know the debits and credits or whether you don't is, is really not the main issue from my vantage point. Now other people within our organization might argue with that. But what I can teach is sort of the opportunity and the ability for you to interact with our clients, with our people. You know, we've built our entire strategy around the ability to generate and sustain and really build high quality relationships. And that's something that uh, when I'm sitting down in front of somebody trying to decide whether or not they should join our organization, that's everything that's going on in my mind. Like, can they engage with our team? Can they engage with our clients? Can they engage with our communities? And if the answer to those three is yes, then, you know, attitude, like, uh, you know, approach, ego, all those things factor into that ability to engage. The, the hard skills, debits, credits, we can teach those. Thank you very much, Jason.